Good morning and welcome to your Monday. Is it a hot Monday where you are? It certainly is warm here in Berlin. It's been such a gorgeous weekend with like 30 something degree heat. So I've been in parks and um, just like feeling warm, <laughs> eating ice, lots of ice. And um, and yeah, it's been really nice. So got definitely got my fair share of vitamin D this weekend. So I hope that you had a nice weekend too. Good morning, Catherine. I have got a hot coffee with me right now. Although they do say, they do say that drinking hot drinks when it's hot or when you're hot is meant to be refreshing so I've never really understood that but we're giving it a go because you need the coffee today because it's Monday all right so without any more random chat let's get on with some drawing we'll keep it quick today because it's hard to concentrate when it's warm I think so we're doing a, a super simple, straightforward session. So let's spin you around. Oh, excuse me, knocking you in all sorts of ways. All right, let's get this focused. Hello. Focus, focus, focus. It will focus. It will focus, guys. Don't worry. It's going to do it. So I'm going to start by just drawing a J shape on the, the, the side of my page here, not going off the page, though. So it just comes from about here straight down and into a J like that. There we go. The focus is there. Then I'm going to just draw um, a point which would be in a straight line coming across here to about halfway, just over halfway of my page. So maybe like three and a bit fingers wide. Also, paint my nails. How exciting is that? Did it in the park. Um, okay, and now we need to join this point to this point, but we're going to do that with a squiggly line. So we're gonna bring it round here, around like that. So it's kind of like a finger shape, a fat finger. And then it's gonna come down and kind of in line with this point that we've just made, we're gonna do a curve, a curve like that. So I'll show you. So it's kind of straight along and then a curve up and then we still need to get to this point from this point which you'd think would just be a straight line but we're not we're going to do um another bump that comes around like this so kind of a curve that comes around like that mine's pretty extreme <laughs> looks a bit funny if I was to do this again, I would probably make this a little bit shorter and draw it like, bring it up around here and out like that. But whatever, we just work with what we've got, don't we? Okay, and then behind this curve, we're going to do another shape, which is gonna come from ab about the same height. We'll start it, let's say here. And so it would end about here. But this shape's gonna come down pretty much straight, maybe coming in a little bit, and then it's gonna come out and around like that. So I'll show you, but it's gonna be behind this one. So this one's coming straight down. And then it's gonna imagine it's coming out here. It's gonna come out and around and mine's going off the page a little bit but if yours doesn't you can see how it would come out and join there 
like so. <laughs> so don't worry if it doesn't look the same as mine or it looks a little bit um, weird for now because that's what we're going for with these sessions. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a semicircle that kind of makes this uh, section, like closes this section off. So from here to about there, the first semicircle. I'm going to draw another smaller one here at the tip there. Little semicircle like that. Then I'm going to draw a semicircle that comes down and around like this. So framing this front part like that. And then you're free to do your own design. So in case you're not sure what these are supposed to be based on, they are in fact supposed to be based on a pair of socks. <laughs> so I thought this was quite funny. I, I saw a, like a stance of someone modeling socks and I just thought it was quite cute how they like put one foot in front of the other one, making it look all fancy like that. So it just made me laugh. And yeah, I just thought we'd go real simple today. So on the top, you could just do a straight line and then just draw like the hem or you could add kind of frills. So I'm gonna go for a summery frilly look. So I'm just gonna do a kind of squiggly line. Like that. But feel free to do your own thing here. Draw a bit of it coming behind. Like that, really cute. And then, of course, We've done similar versions of this kind of thing before, but we can add the the legs if you want. Or you could just have uh, socks on their own. I'm gonna just add some legs at the top. Whoop. Like that. And then you're free to do your own design. So you could keep it classy uh, and do like just like lines coming down you could do all sorts of designs. I think I'm gonna do um, like little suns because it's been so sunny and I feel inspired. So I'm just gonna draw lots of circles as if it's polka dot to begin with. and then draw lots of little rays coming out of them. Maybe not the classiest socks in the world, but definitely cute. Another one up here. Maybe a little suggestion of one there as well. So they are my sons, and maybe I'll do clouds or something on, on this pair, make it look a little bit different. Could also just do suns again but maybe I'll have some suns coming from behind the cloud although there were no clouds to be seen this weekend that's for sure well actually last night it did thunderstorm but it wasn't very dramatic the sky looked gorgeous but um it wasn't like 
you know, crazy rain or anything. There's barely any rain. And the thunder wasn't very loud either, so. Does it really count as a thunderstorm? I'm not sure. But it's gonna be this, this heat um, for the rest of the week, I think, here. Put a little one in there. Cute. And it's as simple as that. I've not gone into any detail of like, you know, the markings of where the where the feet or the ankly bits will be. I'm just going to keep it really simple today. But you could also think about your background and where the feet are standing. So they could be in grass, they could be um, on the beach. I don't know, who wears socks on the beach? It's a bit messed up, isn't it? They could be in their garden, on their patio. I think I'm just gonna draw like a kind of rug thing as if she's on a little circular. She I always assume it's a, a woman or a girl, but this person is on some kind of platform like that. I'm thinking like wicker like a wicker rug for some reason. So we'll just do I don't know. I'm not sure base. Or on a it looks more like a <laughs> a microwave plate. Hopefully not. And then maybe I'll just draw a horizon line. I think the heat's affecting my judgment. And then, yeah, we'll just do whatever colors in the background. Let's do some painting. So I'm going to start with my sun um, bits. Or am I? Maybe I'm going to paint it all with water and then drop in the um, yellow so that the yellow kind of blends. I don't want it to be detailed, round, yellow suns. I want them to be watercolory. Let's see if this works at all, it might not. have to work quickly today because it's very hot. So if you're going, if you're thinking, oh, I might go outside and do a bit of painting, bear in mind that your paint will um, dry on your palette quicker and on your page quicker. And also the water on your page will dry a lot quicker as well. I'm just dropping in kind of like that blurriness. I'm going to add a bit more water because this bit's already dried up a bit. Drag it around a bit, make them. Because I don't think I'm going to drop in another color. I think I'm just going to keep this, these socks, or well, these, that bit, this bit of the sock yellow, and just do these bits different colors. And then let's go in to this one. Mm. 
maybe in the same way. So just painting with water first. I'm gonna try and miss out the clouds because I do, I think I want to keep the clouds white. So just painting around them. And then I'm gonna just drop in my yellow where the suns are. Kind of just spread that yellow around gently like that. But you didn't think you'd be designing socks on your Monday morning, did you? Ooh. Oh no. It's just a person on a bike. I think they'll probably leave. It's not construction again. At least I hope not. Nice. I like these socks. I would wear them. I like these socks more than these socks. Okay. And I'm going to do a blue background up here. Sorry about the background noise I hope it's not interrupting your zen just city life in it you got to get used to all the noises it was too hot to close the windows and uh, I'm sure you can appreciate that <laughs> just to hope so I'm going to do this bit green because I'm not really sure what this background is, to be honest. It's just, I'm thinking like outdoor, naturey. So just giving the viewer an indication of that by using these colors. A bit of skin. This person's going to have um, like sock tan marks, <laughs> white ankles. I've got the opposite. I've got um, like really brown ankles because I wore um, like short like trainer socks with trainers and leggings because I did exercise outside on Saturday so now I have like really tanned ankles because I like failed to think about the like one centimeter gap between my leggings and my socks and um yeah so they got really tanned <laughs> so I've got little anklets, tan anklets on. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a blue, let's go contrast and do like a blue top bit. Although I've got to be a bit careful because I just painted the legs, so I don't want them to be too, too close to that, otherwise it could run into the leg. Maybe it's a hedge trimmer that I can hear, not a um, not a motorbike. Who on earth knows? But it's nearly the end of sock season, isn't it? Which is sad because I like wearing fun socks. 
But um, there is a point when it's just like you stop wearing socks, you just wear sandals. That's you for the summer then, isn't it? I want this to be like a wicker, wicker mat or something. So I'm just going to get my yellow ochre on the go. Bit of burnt sienna. Don't want it to be too close to the yellow color. Bit of Indian red as well. Why not? Last little bit. Just cover that in. Like so. So there we have our summery socks on whatever platforms they are. I might paint this, I might wait for this, for this to dry and paint this a darker brown as if it's kind of like stone or maybe like a gray or something. So I'm not sure about that, that color. But um, I think I'll leave it there for today. We'll keep it real short. And I hope that you've enjoyed painting your summer socks or whatever kind of socks you've done. Maybe you've done a different style of sock. Maybe you've gone for winter. Maybe you've gone for woolly. I can't imagine painting woolly socks at the moment though. It's too hot. It's too hot. Because you really begin to feel what you're painting, don't you? <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me on your Monday morning. I hope that it's got your week off to a good start and I hope that you have nice plans this week. I'll be back here tomorrow for Tuesday's um, session. The following week I'm away. So I think I'm going to take a little break next week. Um, so this will be the last week for, for a week and then we'll be back the week after that. So make sure you join me if you have time and time and the will and i will see you tomorrow for tuesday's session so let's hit that button and stream bye guys i'll wave with my head because i'm holding my coffee bye